a former head of Petro Vietnam, who was convicted for business decisions that caused million-dollar losses at the state giant, said at his appeal trial on Wednesday that he had received the nod from the then Prime Minister. Dinh La Feng, a former political star and board chairman of Petro Vietnam, is appealing the 13-year jail term he received in January for economic management violations. The indictment said he violated regulations by assigning Petro Vietnam Construction JSC, PVC, as the main contractor for several thermal power projects. He directly appointed Trinh Chuan Phan as general director of PVC in December 2007, before making various promotion funding and recruitment decisions to boost Fen's power and facilitate the company's operations, it said. He was found guilty of being responsible for Fen's actions that caused losses worth more than VND won $19 billion, $5.24 million, at the Thai Bind 2 thermal power plant and embezzlement of VND $4 billion, $176,000, at another. Then said at the appeal trial in Hanoi that he did not break protocols. He said the then Prime Minister had allowed him to handpick the contractor for the Thai Bind 2 project in 2006. The project was of national importance and received special policies, he said. Fang said he made the assignment based on reports of profitable operations at PVC between 2009 and 2011. He said he had believed in the company's experience as it had been in charge of bigger projects. I did everything right, he said. Hanoi Superior People's Court opened a 10-day trial on Monday to hear appeals from Thang and 13 former Petro Vietnam executives. Trinh Chuan An, who was sentenced to life in jail for his involvement in the case, also filed appeal but reportedly withdrew it five days before the trial. Than caught global headlines for fleeing to Germany amid the investigation in 2016, but Hanoi police said he came back and turned himself in last year. Thang served as board chairman of Petro Vietnam between 2006 and 2011, before his career took off as Minister of Transport and Prime Minister Nguyen Tan Dung's cabinet and then party leader of Ho Chi Minh City. He was fired from the HCMC post in May last year and then dismissed from the then 19-member Politburo, the Communist Party's decision-making body, making him the biggest causality in Vietnam's sweeping corruption crackdown that has seen many big officials arrested. Thang also received an 18-year sentence for economic management violations in a $35 million graft case in March. At the trial. He was accused of independently plowing ahead with a 20% stake purchase in Ocean Bank in 2008 although he was aware of its poor capacity. The stake, worth VND $800 billion, $35 million, was completely written off when the central bank took it over in 2015. He said that his investment decision had been approved by the then Prime Minister, but the court dismissed his argument saying that he had only reported the stake purchase to the government after the deal had been done in an effort to legitimize it. He was expelled from the Communist Party on Wednesday. The video is sponsored by CNTronic.com